Here's another example of simplifying a trig expression, which means we normally want to simplify this in terms of one trig function, or maybe even a numerical value. And we do that by using all of these identities as we see listed here below. The substitutions that may stand out for this expression would be the Pythagorean identities as we see here, because we have several trig functions squared. But before we do that, let's take a look at what we have. It may be very tempting here to simplify out these factors of sine squareds and tangent squareds, but remember we can't simplify across addition or subtraction. So while it's tempting, that would be incorrect. But we may benefit from breaking this up into two different fractions. If we have the quantity a plus b divided by c, we can rewrite this as a divided by c plus b divided by c. So in this case, if we apply this property, we can rewrite this as sine squared x divided by tangent squared x sine squared x. minus tangent squared x divided by tangent squared x sine squared x. So even though we couldn't simplify across the subtraction, if we rewrite this as individual fractions, we can take advantage of the common factors. Here we have sine squared over sine squared, that would simplify to one. And here we have tangent squared over tangent squared, which would simplify to one. So we're left with one over tangent squared x minus one over sine squared x. Well, one over tangent squared x would be cotangent squared x, and one over sine squared x would be cosecant squared x. Now, if we look at these identities again, if we take a look at this last one in particular, if we were to subtract cosecant squared on both sides, and then subtract one on both sides, we would have cotangent squared theta minus cosecant squared theta equals negative one, and this matches our expression. So cotangent squared x minus cosecant squared x is equal to negative one.